What's going on YouTube Ben with Rimray? A little pair of powder coating here again. Hey, we're going to try something a little different here. We've got some metal signs that a customer brought to us. They're going to auction them off. Um, and I thought, he goes, do whatever color you want. So I thought we'd try a little orange and black, a little fake job. So I've never done this with uh, the Pro Gun and with the Eastwood Gun, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we've already plated them down. We ran them through the oven just to burn off any fingerprints, oil, oils and stuff. So we're going to just try and coat the bottom half. Gloss black on both of these. Front and back. Uh, if you're looking for hangers, these spinning hangers are a lifesaver, especially with wheels. We do a lot of wheels. Um, the main thing I'm trying to make sure is I'm getting the edges fully covered, uh, which usually is not an issue with the more advanced guns. Um, and that looks pretty good. So now we'll switch our airline over to our Eastwood gun. Again, the rack is grounded with our eight foot rod, so we won't be using the dual voltage ground. Uh, but now this is the tricky part. So you want to use very low air pressure and very little trigger um, and just kind of work your way towards the fade. You're going to have some overlapping colors. Um, the main thing, you just want to make sure you get all the metal covered. start playing around with doing things like this, you just got to be really patient. And if the worst case scenario doesn't work, you blow it off and start over. Um, we've done a bunch of Arctic cups this way, and it's a pain. Um, once you get used to it, it starts picking up, but um, those will actually look pretty cool once they come out. I may just hit it with a little bit more black. Uh, but then we'll run it through the oven real quick. Uh, once it hits the temperature, we'll wait for it to uh, cure out for the schedule. And then we'll probably do a follow-up video on these and some other ones that we've done. So uh, again, all these powders, we get a lot of them from prismaticpowders.com. Um, uh, you can buy in small quantities, which is always nice. So uh, make sure to subscribe. And the next video you'll see is probably when I'm done, I'm going to touch up the black just a little bit more and then throw them in the oven. Thanks for watching.